All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here in the Freedom Office. Today's my birthday. 52 years young. Cheers to me. My wife still accuses me of being like a 17-year-old. And uh, my mental capacity may be a little younger than that. So <laughs> anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Before we get started on this video, I wanted to point out one thing. Uh, I am still a gun channel. We are going to be doing some reviews on this guy right here. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor barrel uh, from the guys over there, Hitman Industries. I'm so impressed with this thing that I actually ordered and purchased uh, one of his 16-inch barrels, SOCOM Profile, uh, one and eight twists for $129. Hitman Industries. They're in stock. He also has the one and seven twists, but I'm a big one and eight twist kind of guy. Uh, oh, topped off with the Ultradyne LR muzzle brake. This thing's going to be nice. All right, so I got a article uh, in an email from my friend Fuzzy Fork 8. I will be putting his link to his YouTube channel down below. Please get on over there and take a look at it. Now, this is an article from the guys over there at the Columbus Dispatch. Let me preface this whole thing. I know I have some law enforcement watching these videos. Probably got ATF monitoring it as well. So I would like to hear from you guys your thoughts on this thing because, you know, we, we, we've we been talking as of late about the ATF coming to your house. What do you do if you come to your house? First thing I'd do, I'd probably do what this guy did right here. I'd call 911 and say, there's somebody out here trying to knock my door in and take my guns from me. You know, how did this guy, did he know he was unlawfully in possession of a firearm? Who knows? I don't know. Don't care. But I think it's interesting, the story, and what happened here is because the an agent with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms has filed a federal lawsuit accusing two, federal lawsuit, accusing two Columbus police officers of using excessive force against him while he was working in his official capacity, Agent James Burke, a 16-year veteran of the ATF, said in a lawsuit he was working a routine route, routine assignment on July 7th. That afternoon, he went to the home on uh, 3300 block of Edgebrook Drive near Dublin to retrieve a shotgun from someone who was not permitted to have a firearm. I don't know. Did, did, did somebody report this guy? Did a family member? Was this a red flag deal? I don't know. You tell me. The lawsuit said Burke was in his normal work attire, which was described as casual professional with his credentials in a pocket and an ID card around his neck. You know, well, we always have this change. Anyway, those guys have this change. Not me. I don't know. When Burke knocked on the door of the home, a person inside called 911 and read the dispatcher Burke's badge number while refusing to open the door. Damn right. If anybody shows up at your door, don't invite them in. Don't, don't, don't let them in. Uh, talk to them through the door, make them go get a uh, a warrant, okay, for search and seizure or whatever else, and then call 911. According to the lawsuit, this happens routinely, and Burke had never had any issue with dispatchers or officers verifying his status as an ATF agent on assignment. However, in this instance, Burke said the dispatcher told the 911 caller not to answer the door, and the dispatched Columbus police officer Joseph Fahey a 20-year member of the division, and Kevin Winchell, who is also a 20-year veteran officer. So you got a couple old-timers going to roll up on this ATF agent and call out his bullshit. So when Fihie, F-I-H-E, Fihie, arrived at the scene, Agent Burke stood outside the home's front door and waved the officer over to where he was standing. The law said, even though Agent Burke had both hands raised and had represented that he was a federal agent, Officer immediately drew his weapon and pointed it while simultaneously screaming to Burke, get on the ground. So, you know, I think that we've all learned that if uh, you have a firearm aimed at you, guys ready to pull the trigger and says, get on the ground, get your ass on the ground. Ask questions later. The lawsuit said Burke sold Fahe and Winchell, who arrived a short time later and also drew his gun while ordering Burke to the ground that his credentials were in his pocket. Fahe pointed his fire Fahe. Fi pointed his firearm at Burke for more than 90 seconds, according to the lawsuit. Man, have you ever had a firearm aimed at you, kind of like in, in that in that posture? It's not fun. <laughs> uh, you, you, your little tingly things down in your balls start doing, your toes start tingling. Uh, Fi pointed his firearm for 90 seconds, according to the lawsuit, but before Fi, in which he climbed on his back while violently 
violently, twisting and pulling his arms and handcuffed him. Hell yeah, this is fun. The lawsuit said the officers also used a taser on Burke multiple times. Evidently, he was resisting uh, instructions. While he was face down, not evading arrest. Bullshit. Dude, people don't just make a habit of tasing individuals for the fucking fun of it. Excuse me. Handcuffing Burke and placing him in the back of a cruiser, a process that involved pulling him into the car because the seatbelt was in the way. About an hour during which Burke has, was denied water and frequently disparaged to everyone in earshot. Oh my God. Agent Burke acted lawfully and was posed no immediate threat to officers. Five, blah, blah, blah. Agent Burke did not arrest, resist the officer's attempt to flee from their custody or display any physical aggressiveness towards them. So these guys evidently tased this dude, hit him up there for a couple seconds just for the fun of it. Now, I, I know that I know a lot of you guys probably like to take an ATF agent and tase the shit out of him just for the fun of it. But normally LEOs and working in a professional capacity don't do this kind of thing. Burke has since moved to an administrative role within ATF because of the incident and injuries, both physical and physiological, Burke says he suffered. Poor thing. I thought ATF agents were supposed to be badasses, man. This guy sounds like a pusswad. The lawsuit names the city of Columbus, Fye, and Winchell as defendants and argues this is a part of a pattern of misconduct by Columbus police and a lack of investigation into officers' behaving behavior, calling it unconstitutional policing. Oh my God. So here's the whole thing. The ATF talking about unconstitutional policing. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the hypocrisy of it all that this guy right here could have his ass taken down and for some reason somebody enjoyed tasing him for several seconds, threw him in the back of a car and didn't give him any water. <laughs> Poor thing. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. I hope, I hope you found this entertaining because what we're going to try to do is make these things fun. We're going to be doing videos on Georgia. That is where our Second Amendment lies. And if I know these Democrats, they've already got their truckload of ballots ready to go, just waiting for that moment to go ahead and deliver them at the last moment. In any case, we got a lot of cool things coming up. We got a lot of cool reviews. We got some rifle builds. We're doing an econ build and a premium build at the same time. One of the neat things that I'm doing is that I'm taking, uh, building four identical rifles. And I've already found out that in those four products from the same manufacturer, there's a bunch of differences and it drives me nuts because I'm going to tell you something. Once you got all these things lined up and you get one snafu, it just pisses off the entire day. And we'll go over that during that whole series. It's a lot of fun. It's Code of Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our constitution as it was written by our founding fathers because we don't want, you know, those regular municipal LEOs tasing ATF agents, do we? This is kind of fun. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.